1993 we moved here from Kuwait and uh, had two daughters at that time and Dubai was a very very small place and I set up my office in Crown Plaza um, I was trying to meet every bank and every local family because I was sure everybody's gonna understand my big business idea and they looked at me and they thought I was too young and they tapped me on the head and they said little little Thomas why can you do this and you know, I either have fake glasses because I had to look older. In the last minute, um, I always say that when you're an entrepreneur, you have to be a little bit stupid and naive. I had no idea there were no bankruptcy laws here. And in the last minute, when I had very, very little money left, I met my two partners, two, my best friends today, Rashid Al Masrui from Abu Dhabi and a friend from Kuwait. And we got the company up and running. And that was the last minute because I had no money left. When we opened the first store in Abu Dhabi, it didn't do very well. And it took some time for me to realize that I need to open a second store. And the same day as I thought about it, I must open a second door. In the morning when I was driving from Dubai to Abu Dhabi, I was reading the newspaper and there was this article saying that they're going to start something called Dubai Shopping Festival. And I thought I must find a place in Dubai to open my second store. So the opposite of what you do when things doesn't work, as an entrepreneur you say I open one more. So the same day I got the phone call and that's how our store in Jumeirah came up. I got that location that day and that's how we survived. Today we have stores all over the Middle East and we are 32 stores. And, and in, in Dubai only we have 14, in the UAE only we have 14. But still Jumeirah is the one who's closest to my heart because here's where it started. When we hired a boy with special needs I didn't expect very much more than that was a good thing to do for community. Really what it changed, it changed a lot in our company. It was a couple of months later on I got a phone call and that phone call was from the store and they said please Thomas, can't you come and see what has happened? And he had changed the whole management team inside the store. The store had had some problems, there was a little bit of politics going on, but when he came in and everybody rallied around and helping each other around him, the whole management changed and that's why we decided to do it in all our stores. I remember one day sitting in my office and, and looking at the Crown Plaza or Trek Side Road and looking at the other side or, and there was these two big holes being digged and they were going to build these big two towers, Emirates Towers. And I was thinking, wow, you know, these two towers, they, they are too big for Dubai. And looking at them today and all the other towers on Trek Side Road, that was just the beginning. Today, in, when I'm home in Sweden, even in Sweden people know what Ramadan is because we have so many Arabic experts living in, in, in Sweden. When I came here, of course, we had no, I had no idea. I learned it when I came here. What I really hope is that people in the whole world can understand more what Ramadan stands for, for the peacefulness and to try out and break bread together with people in the evenings and talk about life and talk about... Because we all want the same thing. We want a peaceful world and we want a place that our children can grow up. So our three daughters are born in the Middle East and have the whole life has been in, in Dubai. They went to school here and, and the really nice thing is they are Swedish, they have been brought up in the Middle East, they've gone to school in America, but what they call home is actually Dubai. And I think that is a part of what Dubai have done to all of our experts who have lived here all the time. It really feels like a home. We have been a part of the growing of Dubai, but it's always been a home. It's always been a place where you want to go back to. So when people ask me, where are you going? I'm going home. I said, but you're Swedish. It's not home Sweden. Home is really where your heart is, and Dubai is where my heart is. Mm -hmm.